Even though I pay most of our bills, I heard my wife and her friends making fun of me because I earn less. They said I should man up, and commented how they couldn't date a guy like me. Now, she's begging for another chance after I filed for divorce, but I can't trust her anymore. Hey everyone, I've been reading a lot on the subreddit and never thought I'd be posting my own story here, but here I am. I feel like I need to share what happened and get it off my chest. I, a 32-year-old male, have been married to my wife, Sarah, who was 30, for 5 years. We've had our ups and downs like any couple, but I always thought we had a strong foundation of trust and respect. Boy, was I wrong. To give you some background, I have a pretty significant insecurity about my job. I'm a teacher, and while I love my job and the impact I can have on kids, it doesn't pay much. Sarah works in tech and makes significantly more than I do. I've always felt a bit emasculated by this, even though Sarah has always reassured me that she loves me for who I am and not for what I make. We've discussed my feelings of emasculation and insecurity many times, and she always insisted that it didn't matter to her. But still, it's a source of concern for me. A few weeks ago, Sarah had a couple of her friends over. I was in my home office grading papers, and the walls in our house are pretty thin, so I could hear snippets of their conversation. At first, it was just normal girl talk, gossiping about mutual friends, complaining about work, etc. But then I heard my name. My ears pricked up, and I started listening more closely. What I heard next shattered me. Sarah was talking about my insecurity over my job and how much more money she makes than I do. She was laughing about it, making jokes about how I get all moody about our finances and how I'm just a teacher. Her friends joined in, and they started making comments like, wow, that must be tough, and I couldn't date a guy who made less than me. They even made jokes about me needing to man up and get a better job. I felt my face burning with embarrassment and rage. How could she do this to me? I confronted Sarah about it later that night after her friends left. At first, she got angry that I had eavesdropped on their conversation, but I told her it wasn't intentional. I heard my name, so naturally, I got curious. Then she tried to downplay it, saying they were just joking around and that it wasn't a big deal. But it was a big deal to me. I told her how hurt I was and that I felt betrayed. She apologized, but it felt hollow. The damage was done. For the past few weeks, I've been struggling with these feelings of betrayal and anger. I've tried to move past it, but every time I look at Sarah, all I can think about is how she humiliated me in front of her friends. It's especially painful because, despite earning less, I still pay most of the bills, as I see it as my responsibility. I've never burdened Sarah for anything. I don't know what to do. I love her, but I don't know if I can ever trust her again. Update, it's been about a week since I first posted, and I've read through all your comments and messages. Thank you to everyone who reached out with advice and support. It means a lot to know that I'm not alone in feeling this way. After reading your comments, I realized that I needed to have a serious conversation with Sarah about how I was feeling, so we sat down and talked. I told her that her betrayal cut me deeply, and that I was struggling to move past it. I needed to understand why she felt the need to share my insecurities with her friends and make a mockery of them. Sarah broke down crying and apologized again. She said she didn't realize how much it would hurt me, and that she was just venting to her friends. She insisted that she didn't mean any of it and that she loves me and respects me. But here's the thing, her words didn't match her actions. If she really respected me, she wouldn't have made those jokes in the first place. We ended up in a heated argument, and she accused me of overreacting. She said that if I wasn't so insecure about my job, this wouldn't be an issue. That was the last straw for me. I realized that she wasn't taking responsibility for her actions and was instead blaming me for being hurt by them. After that argument, I knew I needed some space to think things through. I decided to stay with a friend for a few days. During that time, I thought a lot about this situation and came to a painful conclusion, I couldn't stay in this marriage. The trust was broken, and I didn't see how we could repair it. When I came back home, I told Sarah that I wanted a divorce. She was shocked and begged me to reconsider. She promised to go to therapy, to do whatever it took to fix things, but my mind was made up. I couldn't live with someone who could so casually betray my trust and then blame me for it. 
We started the process of filing for divorce, and it's been incredibly hard. I've had moments where I second-guess my decision, or I wonder if I'm making a mistake. But then I remember how I felt when I heard her and her friends laughing at my expense, and I know I'm doing the right thing. Up to the past few weeks have been a whirlwind. Sarah moved out, and I've been trying to adjust to living alone. It's been tough, but I have been leaning on friends and family for support. I've also started seeing a therapist to help me work through my feelings and process everything that's happened. I've started looking at new job opportunities and considering going back to school to further my education. I want to build a life that I'm proud of, one where I don't feel insecure about my career. I've also reconnected with some old friends and hobbies that I've neglected during my marriage. Final update, I wanted to give a final update to close out this chapter of my life. The divorce was finalized last week. It's a strange mix of relief and sadness. I love Sarah, and a part of me always will, but I know that ending our marriage was the right decision. After I got a better job, Sarah reached out, begging for another chance. She said that she had made the biggest mistake of her life and blamed her friends for influencing her. She even told me that she had cut those friends out of her life. But it was too little, too late. I told her that my feelings of emasculation and insecurity about my job were something I had shared with her in confidence, trusting that she would support me. Instead, she used that information to ridicule me in front of her friends and didn't even defend me when they joined in on the mockery. Her betrayal went too deep, and I couldn't see a way to rebuild the trust that had been shattered. I'm in a much better place now than I was a few months ago. I found a new job that pays better and gives me more satisfaction. I'm also considering going back to school part-time to get a degree in educational leadership, which could open up more career opportunities for me in the future. Therapy has been incredibly helpful. I've learned a lot about myself and my insecurities. I've realized that my worth isn't my paycheck, and that I deserve to be with someone who respects me and values me for who I am. Thank you to everyone who supported me through this. Your kind words and advice meant more than you know. I'm looking forward to the next chapter of my life and whatever it may bring. Don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed this video, and if you're curious to see where this journey takes us next, make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you won't miss a single update. Your support is what keeps this channel alive and kicking, and every like, comment, and share means the world to us. We've got plenty more stories, insights, and surprises coming your way, so stay tuned for the next video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.